Welcome back to Wake Up America. The topic of criminal charges continues in the aftermath of the shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on Alec Baldwin's movie set for Rust. Joining us now to discuss is the attorney for the Rust script supervisor, world famous attorney Gloria Allred. Good morning to you, Gloria. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Now, in a statement you released, you say in part that your client, Mamie Mitchell, has information that would be helpful to this case, and you're now conducting an independent investigation into the shooting. So what led you to that decision? Well, because what's most important to Mamie Mitchell, the script supervisor, is the truth. And we are going to conduct that investigation. We have already begun conducting it because she has confidence in us that we will get to the bottom of it. There is also, of course, a criminal investigation by law enforcement. There's also an investigation that has just begun by the production company and also by OSHA. But we represent her, and we have a duty to her, uh, to find out what happened and also to make sure that those who are, uh, who are responsible for what happened are made accountable. She was standing very close to Helena, the director of photography, who was a young mother and also was her friend mm -hmm. and a wife and a respected professional. And that is when that bullet tragically took Helena's life. And then the bullet went further through Helena and into the clavicle of the director. It is a shocking experience for uh, my client, Ms. Mitchell. It was traumatic. It is still traumatic. But thank God for Mamie Mitchell, because she's a hero. She had the presence of mind to immediately run out of that zone of danger outside of that small church and immediately call 911. We have reason to believe she was the first person to call 911, and her voice is being played on that 911 call uh, on many, many networks. And not only that, she shouted to other members of the crew for them to call 911 as well because she wanted to be sure that 911 mm -hmm. understood that they needed to get out there to the set immediately and, you know, and try to save the lives of Helena and Joel. So this is what happened. And now there are many other issues that Mamie Mitchell would like to know the answer of it to because, you know, she could have been killed by that bullet. It right. was right by her. No. And, and that's why we're doing the investigation. And I think, as you point out, I don't think anyone can imagine how traumatizing that would be to know, one, that could have been you, two, that your friend had just been shot. And all of this mm -hmm. was happening so quickly on a movie set where there could be confusion of whether it actually happened. So for her to run out and call 911, as you pointed out, she's believed to be the first person to do so. I cannot imagine that. Has your client, Mamie Mitchell, explained to you what she perceives, what led up to that incident. We've heard a lot of rumors, if you will, of what was happening on this movie set in Santa Fe, whether people walked out due to safety regulations, why, in fact, there was live ammo on the set, whether there was shooting practice going on. What is she saying in regards to that? And those are all the right questions to ask. Uh, of course, I cannot disclose attorney-client confidential communications, but I can say this, that she, I believe, will be a very important witness if, as and when, criminal charges are filed and there is a prosecution. She would also be a very important witness in the civil cases, if there are civil cases, which I expect that there will be. Uh, and so, and she's very willing and uh, to speak to law enforcement, and she has done so to the sheriffs, to the detectives, uh, and will continue to do so. And she also has important physical evidence for them. So I just want to say this, what is important not is important not just what happened on the set when the tragedy took place, but also what's the evidence from prior to the filming, or actually there was no filming of this particular incident, uh, and what happened after this terrible tragedy. In other words, after she ran outside the church, what was happening outside that would be relevant to finding out what happened inside? Uh, but I, also, it's important to know there was a complete violation of the safety protocols. The safety protocols, which everybody on the crew is supposed to be aware of, and uh, is given in black and white on pieces of paper, and they know. And one clear violation of the safety protocols is that the assistant director handed that gun to Alec Baldwin. 
Hmm. Mamie Mitchell, my client, has been in the film industry on sets where there were guns for 40 years. And in those 40 years, she, this is the very first time that she ever saw an assistant director hand an actor a gun. Hmm. Why is that? Because it is not his job. It is the armorer's job to be in charge of weapons and to give a gun after having checked it to the actor. That was a clear violation. And also, was there supposed to be a gun fired at the time mm -hmm. that it went off in the church? If a gun had been planned to be fired on that movie set, I can tell you there would have been plexiglass uh, inside that church. There would have been ear protectors. And most importantly, most of those 16 people that the sheriff said were inside the church at that time would not have been allowed inside of the church. They would have been outside the church. So obviously, there was no plan for a gun to be fired. So and many interesting. Yeah, go ahead. So many. Sorry to cut you off. We're running out of time. No, so many right. interesting points here. I don't have any time, but I do want to ask you quickly because you've been doing this for a long time. We're hearing that Alec Baldwin is lawyering up as well. Do you expect criminal charges to be filed? I would say it's very wise for him to obtain the counsel of lawyers. I'm glad that he did do the interviews uh, with law enforcement, but you know whether or not criminal charges have been filed. Uh, there is definitely, I call it gross negligence, using a civil standard. And there are many people that have to be accountable. And everyone is, is going to okay. be looked at as far as I'm concerned. All right, Gloria Allred, thank you so much for joining us and breaking that down for us as well this morning. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.